in here. So today I am going to make a cauldron wreath. I mean, it's not really a wreath, but it's going to hang on a door, so does that make it a wreath? But it is, I saw this picture on Pinterest last year, and I screenshot it, and I, it has been saved ever since, and I am really, really excited to kind of just show you what I'm going to do. So, I have a lot of goodies to show you, of things that you might need, might want to do this, and the first being a cauldron. So this is a cauldron, and there's a funny story behind that because I went to Party City to find a cauldron, and I asked the gentleman there who was probably like 12, and I said, I said, do you guys have your cauldrons out yet? Because this was at the beginning of September, and he said, a cauldron? And he said, what is that? And I was like, oh my goodness. I was like, you know, like a, like a witch's brew pot? And... He got on his little radio and asked the other guy if we had a witch's brew pot. And the other guy was like, you mean a cauldron? And it just became like this hilarious thing. And I was on the phone with my sister at the same time because she was wanting one too. And it was just, it was hilarious. And then the other customers were talking about it. And I first started to feel sorry for the poor guy. But I mean, come on. It's a cauldron, guys, right? Anyway, this is a 12-inch cauldron. It was, I believe, like 6 or $7.00 at Party City and the reason I got it at Party City is because I simply did not want to wait for um, Target and Walmart and things like that to get those out. They did have cauldrons at the Dollar Tree but they were not big enough at all. Um, I have, let me show it to you. The one at the Dollar Tree is teeny tiny. Excuse me for a second. The one at the Dollar Tree is actually has is holding my trash right now. This is the one at the Dollar Tree. Um, I do have a craft I'm going to make with this um, at a later time, but this is the Dollar Tree one, and it is too small, okay? So you want the big 12-inch. So what I did is I had my husband cut it in half for me. I was going to use a box cutter, and he told me he didn't feel like making any trips to the hospital. So he went ahead and cut this in half with one of those um, saw saw things. Um, whatever, saw 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 saw, whatever it's called. Anyway, um, he cut it in half for me. It took him like five minutes. So if you have somebody who can do that for you, that's awesome. Otherwise, um, a box cutter will work. And we just cut it right on the seam. And I left it where the handle was. And I thought about painting this gold but um, have since changed my mind. So you need half of the cauldron. And the reason you want to cut it in half is because it's going to go flat against the door or the wall or whatever. So um, you need half a cauldron. Now guys, here comes a plethora of things that you may or may not need, and it may be things that we won't even use. So I just had a ton of stuff. So I did grab some stuff at the Dollar Tree. I found these cute... Um, bulbs that had eyeballs on them and they had several different colors um, they had purples and the white ones are the ones that have the eyeball on them and they had some black with spider webs and that's basically the colors of eyes here so I, had, I got a ton of those I'm not sure how much we'll use so I just had a, a, a massive amount of them then I went to Hobby Lobby and was able to get can you guys see this? I am so bad about that. So let me hold this back up. So these are the eyeball ones, and then the black with the spider webs. And then, um, so this one is from Hobby Lobby, and it has, it's in the Christmas section, so I had to wait until they got the Christmas stuff out. But they are plastic, so that's good, so they're the shatterproof. And, um, oh, they're not the shatterproof. They're glass. Oops. Anyway, try to get the shatterproof one. These do say glass on them. I think they're really glass. They really are glass. Anyway, that'll be okay. I'll just have to be careful. But um, if you can find the shatterproof ones, get those. I was just excited to find green ones. I have seen since that the um, Joanne Fabric has a big one of these that has the different colors in it. But I wanted I wanted the green because I already have purple, black, and white. So, But I wanted different sizes. So I did find these. At Hobby Lobby, and I use my 40% off coupon. So let me dig through my mass amount of stuff I have here. Uh, let's see here, must be in this other stuff over here. Oh, but I even found orange ones with bats on them. 
That's from Dollar Tree. Then I found in the Christmas section at Hobby Lobby, these are shatterproof. These are the little miniature ornaments in purple. And the purple is a little bit different than the purple on here, but I still thought it would look Halloween-y when put with orange and green. And these were $2.99 and you get um, nine of them and then use that coupon. Okay, then I was at Christmas Tree Shop and they had these for 99 cents and they're just a bag of colored eyeballs. And so I thought that would look cute in my um, brew pot as well. Then if you watched my last video, I have some spiders and some bats and some pumpkins all left from my witch's hat. And so we're going to use that those in the brew pot as well. Then, whew, okay, this was a, um, were yard stakes. So uh, they were actually like on a a stake that sticks in the ground and so these are supposed to look like which is feet sticking out of the ground so what I did is I just tore the back off the stake off and so now I just have my feet and these are gonna stick out of my brew pot as well then I this that was from Dollar Tree this is from the Dollar Tree as well it says wicked and it has a little glittery um, witches hat they have another one that says spooky but um, I'm choosing Wicked for this one. And then you also need a spider web. And this is from the Dollar Tree. So, that was a lot. And we may not use all of this. I just like to have, you know, a choice of what I want. So, be careful with the glass ones. I'm, I may even change these out. I don't know. I really want to do this tonight. So, um... I think I'm going to change these out, guys. I think I'm going to return these and get the ones from Joy and Fabric that are shatterproof because I'm just scared that over storage and things like that, these will break. So um, these are going back to Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to go to Joy and Fabric. So I guess I'm done for tonight. You guys like my shirt? I made it. It says, I smell children, hocus pocus, teachers be like. Isn't it cute? Anyway, um, all right, so I will catch you guys after I go to Hobby Lobby. Alright guys, so I did not find what I was looking for at Joy and Fabric. So, um, I did return my glass ones from Hobby Lobby, and I ordered these guys from Amazon. I could not find anywhere around town um, what I was looking for. So, Joy and Fabric had the same color green, but they also had, it was only like one row of it, and they had like purple and orange and black which would have been great if I hadn't purchased all the other ones first. So um, I did order this one off of Amazon. I think it was like $7. And I actually looked up lime green Christmas ornaments. So that's what these are. And they're all different. Um, and they are plastic. <laughs> they have glitter and like a matte color. And then there's like a disco ball. So there are all kinds of different ones in here. So um, we'll kind of play with these to see what we want to use. So. All right, we're gonna get started now. Now that we have everything, we're gonna get started. All right, so we're gonna start um, just gluing these bulbs around the base because I want these um, bulbs to grow like bubbles and so I want them to kind of like flow up around the side of the cauldron. So I thought the easiest thing to do would be start around the base. And I wanna try to hide this um, ornament holder thing <clears throat> so I thought I would just start by gluing them and once the ones around the base are dry then I can start building it up around I don't want them to be like perfect either so we'll just let this dry for a second and my glue gun is getting glue everywhere you see that okay so So the smaller 
ones are going to be um, around the top to kind of fill in the holes and stuff. So. Anyway, so yeah, we're just going to kind of go around here and do this. So with these, I pulled the top off because it was really easy to pull off. And then I could just put the glue there and that'll be hidden. doing is like kind of seeing where I want to put it and then trying to decide where to put the glue is what I'm doing. So then I want my bubbles to kind of come like all the way up to here. So we have plenty of bulbs. It's kind of a trial and error here guys kind of see where I want to put everything. Ooh, did you hear that? So you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm just going around. I don't know how much of this you guys want to watch. I also have these ping pong balls that are eyeballs that we'll go back through and we'll cover up some, some areas. We can even make it come down farther if we wanted to too. It just it kind of depends on what you are really wanting. So, so yeah, this is kind of just like, you know, just play with it until you get what you want out of it. Oops, I need another glue stick. Hi, Dom. be a long video if we watch if you guys watch this whole thing because it is gonna take me forever to do this. I really like these these green ones. They're fancy. I'm glad I went back and got the plastic ones guys and ordered those from Amazon because they're really cute. So you see I'm just kind of, you see I'm just kind of making bubbles here and I'll probably add some, another one there as well. So yeah, I just want to get it all the way up and then I'll go back and kind of fill in, make things beautiful. But I want to hide those ornament things as much as possible. These eyeball ones are cute too, aren't they? I have lots and lots of purple, so I'm going to put in another purple. I didn't 
didn't know they even sold Halloween decorations that look like Christmas decorations. I mean, really? Who would have thunk it? I'm going to put one of these bad guys. These just are styrofoam, so they just kind of pop off. Well, they were. There we go. They just pop off. And then you can just put your glue there. And then you don't have to worry about hiding it. So, okay, I'm going to uh, turn off my camera, otherwise it'll take forever to do this. And I will bring it back on and kind of show you my finished product. Oh, it's way out of focus. Alright guys, I wanted to show you this real quick because I need to attach my spider web so that I have um, structure to put my rest of my bulbs. So what I did, and I know they won't be able to see this, but there's a hole here. And so I used a utility knife to poke a hole. And then I really just used a steak knife to put it and then drill um, a bigger hole out. And now I'm going to put pipe cleaners in here. I'm going to attach my web to the actual cauldron. And I thought, you know, at first I thought, well, I'll hot glue it. But I'm like, that's a lot of weight because the spider web is what we're going to hang this from. And so we don't want a lot of weight on that hot glue. So this will make sure that it's secure. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take your web and really just wherever you want to put your web. Now my web is actually broken right here. So I'm going to put this down towards the bottom because the rest of this is not broken. And I haven't decided if I'm going to leave my spider or if I'm going to cover it up. So I'm not really worried about that right now. And so then I'm just going to take this and just twist this around the spider one. And, you know, do you want it straight up? Do you want it kind of sideways? You know, how do you want your final one? It's all up to you and your personal preference of what you're trying to build. And so this will give me a little more structure to add my bulbs, especially when I get close to the back. So we will be adding this wicked sign and so like I said, I'm not sure if I want it. That looks kind of cute. And then my little feet, which is feet, are going to go out the side. So I'm going to build the bulbs up and then put these in and then put the bulbs underneath as well. That makes sense. Okay. So I'm kind of liking this right here. So I may just leave this here. So this um, sign I am going to just hot glue onto, if you can see this, it's getting kind of big. I'm just going to glue this onto my spider web. So just wherever there is spider web, we're going to put glue. Hope you guys like this project. This was my Pinterest inspired project. I in no way take credit for this. I do like that I can try to take some things on Pinterest that you guys might be interested in and kind of show you my take on them or how I might put them together. So I'm just going to glue that on there for a second. And then we're going to go back to building the web because this will actually be hung by this. And then whatever flat surface you hang it on will hold this forward. Okay? So don't worry about that. That'll be held forward. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to keep gluing my bulbs on here. And I will tell you that... You gotta wanna be careful because I don't want a whole lot of movement on them. So 
So like I said, I'm just going around and putting these bulbs in here wherever I feel like it. I had a bulb that was right here and then as I was cutting that open, it fell off. Because I was being rough with it. Okay, so now we can start going to a black bulb. I want to start with building this around underneath here. So really, honestly, the hardest part of this is like just trying to figure out where to put the glue because once you take it off there, you want to make sure that you're not gluing, you know, excessively. So this really... We're going to kind of just build this up and we're going to glue here and under here and kind of make them glue to here and glue to here and then one's up on top if that makes any sense. So we're actually going to glue just to the pipe cleaner. And so this is kind of where it's going to get tricky because we want them glued to the other bulbs for sturdiness. Okay. All right, you guys. So just keep building this around. I kind of wanted to show you this one, and I'm really honestly just kind of trial and error myself because I don't really have a plan for it. I mean, I think I know what I'm going to do, but it's really just kind of working it out as you go along. What you want it to look like, what you have a, in your head. This one, I'm going to put a little glue up here. Okay. I think it's coming along here. And then we do have other like bats and pumpkins and things like that back. I find I have a lot more purple, so I need to be using up this purple. So I'm gonna turn this a little bit. Hope you guys can still see. And kind of build this up a little bit. Hope you can kind of picture what I'm doing here with this. Kind of let the glue dry a little bit too. That's the hard part, not to rush. You want the glue to all dry. making sure that glue actually is on the bulb. That's really the hard part. Making sure that the glue is on the bulb. So another purple one. So you kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of stacking and making sure that everything is glued together. Like I said, we'll go back and fill in some spaces with the ping pong balls and the smaller bulbs as well. The purple and the green. I have a lot of the green. I think the green would really add some color and some pop to it. So, um, yeah, just stacking these bulbs is all we're doing here. bought very many orange because I don't have any more orange. <laughs> I think I was like, oh, I bought all, I bought all they had. And my sister, um, she 
she lives out of town. And she, I told her, I was like, oh, look at these. These are awesome. And so I bought some for her. So I did not leave any in the store. And I didn't get any more ends. So I don't know if it was like a last minute. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. They didn't get any more ends. I know that. I know my sister tried to order them on the website and she was not successful. Tried to like order a case or whatever and they wouldn't let her or they didn't have any or whatever. I don't know. She wasn't successful in that. My witch's brew is very purple, very purple. Let that one dry because it's not connected to anything, so we'll need it to be um, solid. Probably put a blue eye right there. Maybe make it facing that way a little bit because my other eyes are kind of facing the right way. side too. Just the more glue that you guys can put these together, the sturdier it's going to be. So you kind of get what I'm doing. I'm just stacking these up and then we'll go back and fill it in. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera so that this video isn't a million years long. Okay, so for my witch's legs, I want them to kind of stick out here. And I almost forgot about them, so I have to take the bulbs off that I was already adding on. So because um, I don't want them to cover up the wicked sign, so I want them kind of to go like this. So what I'm going to do is glue them together in the angle that I want them. So we're going to glue them together. And then... We will glue them I'm, I'm kind of thinking maybe I don't want witch's legs guys I don't know I think it might be too much no it's cute all right so I want them to stick off the side so yeah, eyeballs everywhere I want to do it this way Okay, and we'll put some more bulbs underneath to hold it in place. I want it to go this way, right here. And we'll bubble up around these too, so. And of course, then being it being in between will help study too. Okay. It's really taking a minute to dry. My tag is still. Well, this is where your witch's legs are going to go. I need to hold this down because the glue is not dry yet. And as I'm letting go, the weight is pulling the glue off. So. I think we're almost there. So what we're going to do is we're going to build up around this, a bubble around it and everything so that um, 
It looks like we're cooking a witch. Mmm, tasty witch. So we'll go like around. And we'll do like this. See what I'm saying? I'm going to say we're going to go around them. So. We're going to do that. I wanted to take off of there so it has some yucky glue on it. But we're just going to bubble up here. Bubble up! This is really fun guys. It took me a minute to get all of the things I needed because I want those plastic bulbs. But it was worth it because they're really cute and um, yeah. This is adorable, guys. It's it's getting cuter and cuter as I'm adding more and more things. So, um, I think I might... Whoa! Holy cow. Holy eyeballs. See, aren't those cute? Those are cute, too. I'm glad I got these. Especially since they have the orange in them, since I'm out of the orange bulbs. Okay. All right, well, I'm just going to keep building up here, and I will show you the end because this, once we just get done with the bulbs, we're done. Okay, guys, so it is all done. So I'm going to hang it up on the wall so that you can see what I did. Um, now, to attach, to hang this up, I uh, just took some extra ribbon that I had laying around, and I just tied it here, and then we'll hang it with the ribbon. I did tie it a little farther down because I felt like this was a little sturdier than the weaker parts up here. So I did do that down there. So I think it turned out really cute. I'm going to go hang it up. See how it goes. I did add a little spider here on the side. I thought that was cute. I decided not to use any of the bats or the pumpkins. Um, just because I thought it was already getting to be a little too much. So, um, I did leave some of my hot glue, hot glue stringies because I thought it was kind of cute, um, kind of spiderwebby. So you could definitely add spiderwebs if you wanted to, but um, I think it's really cute. So I'm going to go um, hang this up so you can see it um, hanging. All right. Okay, you guys, so here is the finished product. I think it is super, super cute. I am loving the little witch's feet sticking out. The bubbles going around. It is adorable. I really hope you like this video and that you are inspired as I was inspired by Pinterest. And I just really think it turned out adorable. I hope that my camera was in focus for this video. I just turned it off of autofocus because I don't know it was it didn't look right to me. So hopefully this video is shot right for you. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks!